Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. And welcome in to all my new friends. Thank you so much for uh, watching my channel and hitting that friend button, aka subscribe. <laughs> I really appreciate it. So today is Friday. March 22nd, 2024. The time is 7.08 a.m. here in Liquid Sunshine, Salem, Oregon. Yep, the rain finally arrived. So I am continuing my journey on Diamond Art Club's Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Penson. And this is a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. And guess what? I finally finished this part down here that I was working on. And now I have moved up here to the bridge area and then going to do some grassy area. Yep. And also, I'm going to show you, oh, I love the glare, um, and for some reason, I have got shadows. Let me turn that off and see if that's any better. All right, so the tractor that is here, there's a little dog right here, and it really shows up in the canvas, so I'm going to show that to you. So this has... 59 colors with four ABs, and AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills that have a special effect coated on them, and they're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. All right, so I am going to move things around here a little bit and bring the camera down. Hopefully I don't mess up. All right, there's the dog. <laughs> there's the tractor. So I've got the tractor partially done. And then this side over here. Sorry, I got all kinds of stuff out. And, and there's the ducks. Some more ducks. And now um, stone wall and then the bridge. So we'll pan you up a little bit here. My computer's kind of in the, or my keyboard, I mean. Move that over a little bit. So, yeah. So, I'm right over here now, up in this part. What you think, folks? Yeah, it is coming alive. With the sound of music. Okay. So now let me get things over here a little bit. There we go. Did you see my Amazon unboxing and my new pin that glows in the dark? It's not dark in here. So anyway, I'm going to turn this light on so I can see what in the world I'm doing. Okay, so... Now I need to make just a couple adjustments here. Move you over just a tad. Is that over? Yep. Okay, we're perfect. And up to there. All right. We're good to go. All right. Now I got an email from January. And she says, Linda, 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 you are such an influencer, LOL. I just love those wind chimes so much that, yep, she had to buy. 
So let me show you in the pictures which one she got. She not only got one, she got two. So she got the birds. Beautiful. And then, oh, no, one wind chime and one butterfly, which I believe Tita did. Isn't that beautiful? So congrats on your, your um, purchases there. Okay, anything else here? I think that's the only email today. And she did get those from New Craft Day. Okay. So, we're going to put that aside. So, thanks for sending me the email. I do appreciate it. You know, I always like those emails. Keep them coming. Along with all your wonderful comments. I have enjoyed reading those and yeah, it makes my day. All right, so now turn on my light. There we go. We are raring to go. Okay, so I think our next color, which is this area here I'm going to fill in. So that's the down arrow. So 45. And that is three, three, four, six. And three, three, four, six. Hunter Green. Have we had that before? Don't remember that we got lots of arrows so I'll probably just stay on this one color so shake some out here there we go and I am using my new stylus pen that I got from Amazon it's just like my other one, except it's a different color. And my other one, this one, I love it too. It reminds me of a, a wood grain. Yeah, I really like the... This one's ergonomical, so it's got the, this is fat, and then it goes in, yeah, so, yeah, it has little um, gullies in it. Yeah, so I really like that. I am happy with my purchase. How about that? And I do need to move this light over just a tad. So I can see what I am doing because it's a little gray outside today. So I have a busy day today again. Well, probably a busy morning. Um, and I believe it was January who said to use this phrase, but it is rubber ducky day for Ellie Belly. Yep. Gonna try out that new shampoo, medicated shampoo that I got on Amazon. So while this is uploading, that's what I'm going to be doing. I think she knows. She's been staring clear at me. Yeah, 
night. Last night, I was watching the live with Crafting with B and Diamond Painting. And yeah, I finished that, this lower section finally. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was on that for a long time. <laughs> That's okay, isn't it? You go at your own speed, it's not a race. And you do what makes you happy. And relaxed. Kleenex time. menu. There we go. And then you paint with passion. I'll raise you up just a tad here. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I had a good time last night. Um, V was on for uh, about an hour on her live, and she did a kit up on her one of her dreamer designs that she got. The unicorn family. So yeah, I look forward to that coming alive, huh? And when she lays the drills down. Her next live is Saturday morning, which I think is hmm, 9 o'clock central. We'd have to go to her page. I'm sure she's got it posted. She's in a different time zone than me, and I always get confused with the time zone. So, yeah. So, let's see. What happened yesterday? Um... You know, I have been experimenting on YouTube and whatnot, just having some fun. And uh, just trying out new things. Remember, the year of the change, that's me. We're changing it up. We've done a lot of changes since January, so I've learned a lot, and man, I have made so many new friends that it just warms my heart. And I enjoy coming on here every morning with you guys and chit-chatting. So yesterday, let me think, what did I do yesterday? other than being on the computer. I was so hungry for hamburger gravy. I love hamburger gravy. Now, I had never had that before. And when I was in grade school, I had it for the first time. Oh. And so I remember even through high school, every time they had hamburger gravy, I had to have it. 
So anyway, I had some hamburger gravy and with, with you know with potatoes, and I uh, probably ate too much of it, but that's okay. It was good, <laughs> and it you know my taste buds were happy. May not be the healthiest thing, but you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Yesterday, I gave the hummingbirds fresh food. Mm, my coffee is super, super duper hot because I put it in the microwave and I pressed the wrong button. It was in there for five minutes. Oh yeah, it's boiling. <laughs> yeah, I got I put it in there and I got distracted and didn't know I pressed five minutes and yeah. So it's probably gonna stay hot for a while. This part's gonna probably go really fast because there's a lot of color blocking. That is fine with me. I might, and this is a big might, after, you know, rubber ducky time, um, get ambitious and Go to Walmart and uh, I need to get Ellie some more food. Not that she's completely out. I'm not going to starve. But yeah, get her some food and then fill up the water jugs. Get some bread. My son went to Walm or uh, Winko, and he came over last night, and he goes, "Here's a loaf of French bread." Had a look, and he said they had it on sale for forty-eight cents. So he bought me some. He knows I love French bread. So, so I do have that. But I'm out of regular bread. Yeah, so he had to go to Portland yesterday for his work. So um, he just went to Winko straight from Portland. And so I didn't get to go with him yesterday. In his new car, sad face for me. So, yeah, because it's to come all the way back here and then go all the way back, you know, that's a, kind of a waste of time. So, and then Thursday nights is his house cleaning night. So he goes to the grocery store and then he comes home and he house cleans makes the house nice and clean and disinfected and whatnot for when the boys come over, which they'll be here today. And they're staying until Wednesday. And then they go back to stay with mom for the rest of the spring break. So, he was going to take him over to the coast to go crabbing, but, you know, that wouldn't be very fun in the rain.
and it's supposed to rain until at least Tuesday. Yeah, and our beaches aren't like, you know, some of the beaches that are nice and warm and all that. No, it's cold <laughs> this time of year, so not too fun to be crabbing in the cold. And it's not pouring down rain here. It's um, you know, just a light rain. Oh man, it smelled so good out there this morning. You know, because I mowed the grass and um, it's been sunny here. So boy, you know, when that rain comes down and yeah, it just clears the air. And there's been a lot of... Um, you can burn right now, so a lot of smoke in the air with that. I mean, not dangerous, but you know what I mean. Just people burning their whatever they burn. Um, so, yeah. Just smells so good. Hey, Ellie Belly. Are you ready for your breakfast? I don't know what was with her yesterday, but she, or the last couple days. She hasn't been real hungry. And then finally last night, when I was having my dinner, she came over and, you know, was, she wanted cookies and stuff, but she didn't want a regular dinner. I said, nope, not having any of mine. If you want some, your dinner's over there. Got your Minnie Mouse. And uh, so she went over and ate her dinner. <laughs> oh, she's giving her secret message. Secret message time. She was a cuddler last night. Oh my goodness. She was laying right beside me. We were all cuddled up and yeah. And she was there all night till about, I don't know what time it was, two-ish. I woke up and she moved to the couch and then um, I got up and couldn't go back to sleep so I got up did a few things and our internet was down because they were doing up upgrades or maintenance or something I don't know so it was going to be down until about <clears throat> five this morning and So, yeah, I didn't have internet. So that was fine, you know. Plenty of other things I can find to do other than being on social medias. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it was nice. I did diamond paint for a while. You know, it was nice and quiet. And drizzly rain outside. Just I couldn't see it because it was pitch dark outside. But um, it's just starting to get light here. But it's a gray day. And that is just fine with me. It's not cold, though. So that's, that's good. Hey Google, what's the temperature? The temperature in Salem right now is 48 degrees. 
48. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Celsius? Currently in Salem, it's 9 degrees Celsius. 9 Celsius. That's a big improvement over a few weeks ago. <laughs> We've had beautiful weather here, just beautiful springtime weather, and uh, the trees are starting to blossom. I noticed yesterday that the cherry orchard trees, um, they're starting to blossom. Yep. So we'll have to take a walk in the orchard so you can see that. It's going to be beautiful. The forest across from me, I don't think there's anything over there that blooms. They're just tree trees, brown trees. They're bare right now, which is fine with me because when they're bare, then I can see the mountainside over there. And yeah, but when they start getting their leaves and stuff, then it blocks my view. And my son, when he got home yesterday, was telling me all about driving his new car. And if you have his car, if he has it on cruise control, um, it will actually break for you. If the car in front slows down, it'll slow. It doesn't really break, but you know, it does all that itself. It slows down and then brakes it's got it's just amazing to me what I don't think I would depend on it but it make me too nervous he likes it and that's all that matters right right So let's see. Yeah, so yesterday he was gone until about four. And uh, of course, the grandsons were home from school yesterday. So they were upstairs, I think, unless they went to their friend's house. Sometimes they do that. Um, I didn't hear them, though. So they were being quiet up there. So I felt like, oh, I'm all by myself. <laughs> yeah, it's nice having David next door and he works from home and just knowing that somebody's there. Our landlord came and moved that big fifth wheel. Don't know the story behind it yet. Um, somebody supposedly bought it. and I'm not going to go through the whole story that happened last year, but yeah, I don't know if he repoed it or, or what, but it's gone hold it out of here last night so you won't see that in any new videos when we do walk with Ellie
Yeah, as soon as everything starts really blossoming here, I'll get out and we'll do walks with Ellie. It's kind of nothing too exciting right now. Yeah, I want you to see things when they're springing to life. I have been really ambitious the last few days, getting lots done and just things that were on my to-do list. My to-do list today is, you know, rubber ducky time. And then I would like to take all my soda bottles back, recycle those, go to Walmart, Drop off boxes. I think that's about it. That's all I need to do. Then come home, but it'll get me out of the house for a while, right? I think the last time I was out was, well, I went to the doctor. Um, when was that? Was that? Was that this week? I can't even remember. Let's see, I went to the doctor on the 12th. Oh my gosh, I haven't been anywhere since the 12th. <laughs> oh my, my, my. And Ellie can go with me and get her out of the house because she likes to go and I won't be in Walmart that long. Long enough to grab a loaf of bread, her food, the water, and where I get the water is right there by the dog food. So yeah, I can. <coughs> Probably while it's filling up, I could go get her dog food. Yeah, it's just right there. made her vet appointment yesterday so yeah and this time we get to see the vet um, so that's good we haven't done been able to do that since 2020 probably 2019 actually so yeah we're gonna get an in-person visit so I'll be in the room while they do the exam and then they'll take her back to do her blood work and all that. But, um, but I really do want to talk to the vet because Ellie's going to be 10 in May. So, just kind of want to... know what I'm in for. Well, I kind of know. I mean, Ellie was a senior. Um, but Her breed is between 10 and 12 years old. That's the average. Boy, we got lots of arrows. Oh, 
Ah, my coffee's finally cooled down. I'll just dump them all. How's that? Yeah, so she needs a few shots. I think two. And then she will get six months of her flea meds, which is included. All that's included in her pet plan. And then I'm going to wait to get her nails done till then. So they can clip her nails while she's in there. Then I don't have to take her to the um, groomers. So it'll be one-stop shopping. She'll be happy about that. And that only takes a couple minutes, so. Yeah, so that uh, her appointment, I think, is at 9 or 9.30. I can't remember, so. It's on a Friday. So I'll have something to talk about that day, or the next day, when I do my whip and chat. <laughs> and then I think two weeks later is my big day for my colonoscopy, so, and hopefully that's my last doctor's appointment and stuff for a year. Yay for me. So yeah, I'm going to assume it won't take us but a couple hours this morning being out and about. You know what I need to do? Note to self. Let me put this on my list. I have some stuff to donate to the thrift store. And I keep forgetting um, to donate those. It's not a whole lot. All right, got it on my list of projects. need to do that and I can get have some more space That is only, well, I got to wash up all Ellie's towels. So I'll do that. She uses three or four towels. So, uh, itchy eye. Um, yeah, so I 
push up those. Then I might go in and do some more of my YouTube uh, stuff. I have some videos I need to transfer over from Facebook and that does take a while. But while they're uploading, I can be diamond painting. <laughs> I did start watching a movie <clears throat> yesterday on Acorn TV. Um, they have a, a thing where it's got all these movies. I can't remember what they call it, but so I'm watching the first one. And it's called Help. And I really didn't get that far into it, so... It looked kind of good, but we'll see if it keeps my attention or not. Squeaky couch, Ellie scratching. Yeah, she needs her medicine. She rolls around in the grass and who knows what's in the grass. Well, if it's because she has um, allergies, so. it's you know there is pollen in the air we don't it's not really bad right now our pollen isn't bad until a few weeks away yet I think a Tamu order coming. I think it might be here today, but it may not be here till Monday. Who knows with our post office? Because what they do, they, it comes in from Portland and goes to the main post office and then the main post office has to transfer it. And sometimes it gets transferred a couple times before it finally gets over here to the west side. So and I haven't got my notifications yet you know what's out for delivery I'm looking forward to getting that because there's a couple things in there that
pretty cool. So. Wow. Doesn't this bridge look nice? I love that bridge. I'm excited to get all of this in and see what it looks like. All of this here are ABs in here. Yeah. And let me look at the picture. Yeah, so that must just be some, right here is the ABs, I think. And there's some purple flowers right there. And how far up am I going to go? So the tractor is here. Oops. So I'll be going just right along here. Down in here. Yeah, so that, I'm looking forward to, to that. Okay, what's my time? I forgot to... I think that says 46 minutes. I know. Boy, time goes so fast when I'm on here. Chit-chatting with you guys. Hey, if there's anything you want me to talk about, let me know. <clears throat> I'm open for suggestions. Oh my gosh, did you see Tita's unboxing? of that lady she is that is beautiful colors it's nothing that i would diamond paint but it is pretty um i love the colors in that pinks oh yeah and there's some purples and i think it's going to be pretty stunning i think she got that in a pr pack do a lot of PR packs. Um, but I'll do a few now and then, you know, but I'm more focused on doing what I got. Because <laughs> for me, when I do a PR pack, you know, it's, I got to show you guys what it's really like. Because, okay, for me, if I watch an unboxing, and you show me the product, I need to know the rest of the story. Um, and not just on one item. I want to see them all, you know. So, and you know, you got to do them fast enough so that they're still in stock. Um, but that's just for me. That's how I like to watch the um, product reviews. Because any painting can look good until you, you know, get the drills down. I want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I know there's, you know, sometimes... I watch and you never see the finished product. What about you guys? Do you like to see the finished product? 
or do you just buy it because it looks pretty? <laughs> Gotta have it. I do have another PR pack coming, but I don't know when. Never know when it's being China mail. It can sit in customs for a long time. Alrighty. So we're probably at about 50 minutes here, people. So I appreciate you stopping by, listening to my chit chat, and uh, I'm going to go get busy and do what needs to be done today, this morning. Oh, stretch. Okay. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for visiting with me and uh, leaving me comments. Yeah, and if there's anything you want me to chit chat about or need to know or whatever, let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, yep, we need a thumbs up. And if you want to see future nonsense, just hit that bell and you'll get notified of more videos. So thank you all my friends for joining me and I will chat with you later.